Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO Scale Trinity 31,000 gallon crude oil tank car from Scale Trains. This car is part of their rivet counter series, so has extra detail. My particular car represents a deep rock car that was built in 2014, so it would be appropriate for any modern layout. These cars are available direct from scaletrains.com for $38.99. My car came out of the box with a little bit of damage to the couplers. On the B end, the coupler was completely out of the box. Looks like the screw had fallen out. And on the A end, the coupler knuckle had come detached. So before we proceed with the review, I'm going to attempt to repair the car so that I can evaluate the coupler height and other things like that. So what I found is that the coupler box screw is actually stripped and it won't stay in the hole. I have a 256 screw here, which is slightly larger. I'm going to attempt to use that. I ended up having to tap the hole for the one coupler box with a 256 tap, and then I was able to use a 256 screw. The um, place where the screw mounts seems to be made of die cast metal, so it should hold the screw pretty well. The other coupler had to be put back together, and the way these work, there's a little pin that the coupler knuckle uses for a pivot, and that had fallen out. So I replaced the pin with all the parts put back together, which was a little tricky to do, but I got it in there. And then I used a little tiny drop of CA glue on both ends of the pin to ho hopefully keep it from falling out again. This car has really amazing detail. The paint is very crisp and even, and all of the small markings are legible with magnification. The ladders are freestanding, as are all the grab irons. The underbody detail that's visible from the side looks really good. We'll take a closer look at that a little later. The trucks also feature rotating end caps, and car number stenciling, which is neat. The detail on the end of the car is really good. The shield on the rivet counter series cars is made of a piece of thin metal and is very close to scale. The car has photo etched walkways, freestanding grab irons, uncoupling levers, and air hoses. I also really like the placard with the hazmat information on it. I really like the triple valve detail and the other brake components on the B end as well. The car is equipped with semi-scale knuckle couplers that are the shelf type. Both couplers were a little bit low. Now I realized I did have to repair the car, but I don't believe that what I did would have changed the coupler height. One thing I noticed is that there are some little holes on the A end, and I looked at prototype photos and those are actually there on the real car too. It looks like the shields are all perforated for a brake wheel, but only the B end has the brake wheel installed. That's pretty good attention to detail. The top detail is really good. The platforms around the hatch are photo etched. And one thing that I think is outstanding is that the railings are metal. So they're not going to just snap the first time you have to turn the car over. A lot of the other bars and things on the car are also made of metal, so it should be fairly durable. The hatch detail is also really good. And I like the separately colored area around the hatch, which is sort of a dark gray instead of the black that's around the middle. The underside of the car is just as detailed as everything else. There's really nice freestanding brake rigging. And I really like the detail around the drain plug or whatever this thing is in the middle. Looks really good. The car has metal wheels. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. The car weighs 5.3 ounces. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is about 4.9 ounces. This car is amazingly detailed. I really like it a lot. And I really, really like the fact that a lot of the details are made of metal, so they're going to be more durable than a lot of other tank cars. That's been one complaint that I've had with tank car models in the past, is sometimes you just touch the little grab irons or something and they'll snap off because they're made out of some thin plastic. So I really like this car, and I think it'd be pretty durable. It's a very modern prototype that I think anyone running modern trains would like to have. This car is so good that it would easily be an epic model, if not for the fact that it had a couple of problems. I'm going to take a spike for the coupler height being wrong. And I think on a $40 car, you really shouldn't have to repair it when you get it out of the box. So I'm going to take off a spike for the damage. My final verdict is 8 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.